ask you to do every other odd. Is that correct? I said every other odd. What do we do? All right. So, problem number one. So the first one, they just want us to find the slope. And this is the slope equation. Do you agree with that? And then you go x1, y1, x2, y2. If you flip them around backwards, you get the same answer, which is kind of cool. So I called y2, 7, the minus sign, y1, 3. x2, I called 4. y1 is 2, and there's a subtraction sign. So 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. You could leave your answer like that as a slope. That's totally fine. Or you could make it 2 over 1, or you could make it just 2. It's whatever you choose to want to make your slope. Sometimes it's easier when you reduce it. Sometimes it's not. Yeah. You got four, negative 4 over negative 2? Cool. That works. Yeah. Yeah, if you go backwards. All right, number 5. Because we skip three, because it's every other odd, right? So do one, skip three. All right, x1, y1, x2, y2. Slope equation's this. All right, so y2 I listed as 9. y1, there's a subtraction sign, is 9. x2, minus, minus that. So on top, 11 minus 9 is 2. That minus minus turns into a plus, right? So I get that. I could leave that as an answer, or I could convert it to that. Either one. Both of those are totally fine for your slope. When you're making the equation, sometimes it's easier to uh, convert or reduce it all the way. Okay? All right, so that's 1 and 5. And then we skip 7. Is that right? Am I about right there? Okay. So let's go to problem number nine. Is that okay? All right, number nine, I'm going to do the best I can doing this. It looks like I have a point here and a point here. All right, so we want to write the equation as slope-intercept form of problem number nine. Okay? So I know that this is the point 0, 1, this is the point 2, 0. So the y-intercept is what letter in y equals mx plus b? Is it y, m, x, or b? B. So that means our b value, this is our b value. So I so far I know that I have plus 1 as an answer. Okay? I know I'm going to have y equals, and we have to find the slope. Now, a couple of ways of doing the slope. When it's graphed, look at this. If I go down 1 and I go right 2, if I go down 1 and I go right 2, I get that. And then I put an x there. There's my equation. It's done. Okay? You could try and find the slope using the slope equation as well. It's your choice. Friends, let me know if you have any questions about that. You seem okay? All right, so we did 1, skip 3, did 5, skip 7, did 9, skip 11, and go to 13. Is that right? Am I still on pace? All right, number 13, xy axis. Now I'm just trying to draw the best I can what they have in here. They got 1, 2, 3, and then we have 1, 2, 3. So this is the point 0, comma 3. This is the point 3, comma 0. And we have our line. All right, so friends, again, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. The y-intercept is what point up there? 0, 3 or 3, 0? 0, 3. So my y-intercept, this is going to be my b value. So, so far I know I have plus 3. I know I have y and then I have an x. Let's figure out our slope. So if I slope, if I go down 1, 2, 3, I went down, and then I go right, 1, 2, 3. So I went down 3, 
right three. Uh, negative three over three is totally correct to keep as an answer, but what could I do to solve, bring that down a little bit better? Like negative one or negative x, right? Okay, friends, either one of these answers is 100% correct. There's no, I'm not docking. You didn't reduce a fraction on it. You're totally fine. You're okay to leave it as. So the nice thing is, if you truly left it like this, you wouldn't make the error reducing. Agree? So it's kind of your choice. All right, so then we skipped 15 and did 17. Okay. I'm glad you guys are smart because I, I wouldn't be able to figure this out. 17. We have y equals 5 over 2x minus 19 over 8. First thing we want to say is what's the slope? Remember, the slope is attached to the x, right? 5 over 2. And then they want the b value, the y-intercept. Okay, I love your answer. I If you gave me an answer of this, you're great. I would really prefer you to have the 0 because the y-intercept is indeed a point, And that indicates you understand what a point is. Now, that would be an ugly one to try and graph. I get it. And then that's all we had. Agree? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Intercept. All right. So we're kind of skipping around a little bit. Um, doesn't mean rip those pages out and get rid of them. But would you please turn to page 121? Also, reminder, what is on Friday? Ooh, I got to make copies of that, I guess. All right. All right, so friends, page 121, 122. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do the odd problems for you. Please take notes on the odd problems because you will eventually have to do the even ones. All right. So my friends, this is problem number one. And you don't have to write down right away. Just watch what we're going to do first and figure it out. They want us just to get the slope. So the slope equation is this. Okay, that's the slope equation. Come over and label your points. Okay, and then let's plug it in. So I called y2 negative 8. I know there's a subtraction sign. Y1 I called 12, so that's minus 12. X2 I called negative 8. There's a subtraction sign. Minus X1, so minus minus. So that is an, that's all kinds of different signs. So let's break this down, make it a little nicer. Would you feel comfortable with this here? And what did I do? Yeah, we realize negative negative turns into a positive. And then I'm going to do the math. I have some that cost $8. I have $12 in my pocket, so that means I still have $4 in my pocket if I buy that $8 item. This is like I want to buy something that costs $8. I have $10 in my pocket, so I get that. That is my slope. And I realize we've been indoctrinated to know that we should reduce. Do we have to have it over? Each and every one of these answers is 100% correct. Okay? I don't care what the directions say. I, if you don't reduce the slope, I'm not going to dock you. Friends, is there anything about that problem number one that I could help you with, guide you with, interpret for you? Isn't it kind of the same thing though you said? It is a kind of the same thing. Okay. All right. So th that was just a quick touch on page 121. Can I move off this one? All right. I would like us to go to page 123. Okay, so I'm kind of hodgepodge in it, but we're okay. All right.
Don't have to write anything down. I will give you time to write stuff down in a moment. Okay, this equation is known as point slope. Okay, this is the most used linear model worldwide. The reason why we stuck so much with y equals mx plus b, and I kid you not, is schools sold out to Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments graphing calculators only accept things to be written as y equals mx plus b. Okay? The fortunate thing is, especially if you take my statistics class, we learn Desmos backwards and forwards. It's a really great online tool and it's free. Okay, so point slope is something that we're going to use here. So let's just kind of take a little look at point slope. We have y, we're subtracting y sub 1. We have m, m is what in the grand scheme of what we're working on? Slope, yeah. And we have x minus x sub 1. Now, again, don't write anything down. I want you just to kind of look at this. The green is the slope equation. Agreed? So if I did this, if I multiplied both sides by this, those cancel. Does this equation here, and again, you don't have to write any of this down, do these look very similar to each other? I mean, they're kind of flipped over, right? But I mean, we've already talked. We can go whoop, flip the whole thing over, right? We've been flipping things over. Okay, so there's a few things there. All right, so, so I am going to look at problem number four on page 123. Okay. And we're going to focus on this using this equation. And let me try and draw that graph the best I can. And I'm going to fail, you guys, and I apologize. But I think if you looked at that graph on page 123, Problem number four is going to look something like that. Do you agree? Okay. No question so far. You, you feel comfortable with what I'm saying, yes? Now, you're going to like and you're going to dislike what I'm going to do all in one. Because when I show you how this equation works, there are two answers. Both answers are 100% correct. All right, so when doing this type of problem, and don't 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 write anything down. Trust me, I'll give you time. I want to know what the slope would be. So talk to me. First thought thoughts on how I'd find the slope if I knew I had this as a point and I had this as a point. Okay. So, so go down and right. Okay. 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 So there, there's a couple of ways. So I could say, would you agree with me? I went down two and I went right one, two, three, four. So down two, right four. Do you agree with that? Which means I have this. Friends, is it okay if I leave slope as... Um, Something that's not reduced? Heck yeah. Friends, I strongly encourage you, especially doing these, don't go and reduce it. If you reduce it, that's one extra step that you could make an error on. Agree? Okay. So let me just stop there. Write down what you need to have written down. This problem is not done at this point. I just want to make sure you have that. Again, this is on page 123, number four.
another couple seconds. We good in the hood? Anyone need more time? I got you, kiddo. It is. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to write the equation as soon as you guys are done with writing whatever you need to write down. All right. How many points does it appear that I have labeled up on this graph? Two. Everyone feel comfortable with that? All right. So do not write anything down right now. Just watch. I have those two, two sets of points. Agree? All right. So I'm going to do... Do one in blue, and I'll do one in yellow, okay? All right, so let's pick the yellow point first. Are you okay with that so far? Yes. Okay, so that's talking about this point. So I'm going to call this x1 and y1. I'm going to use this equation. So I'm going to go y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus minus 2, x plus 2. And I'm going to stop there. Friends, that's the answer. So this is the answer just as it sits, just like this. Unfortunately, we've been indoctrinated to say, oh, we have to distribute over the parentheses, we have to get y by itself because of Texas Instruments. Okay, major company. Major company. Major company, Sid, both sides. A major company dictated what we should learn. Huh, hang on. I have this blue point as well. I have this point right here. Agree? I'm going to label this x1 and y1. And I'm going to plug that back into this equation. So I get y minus minus 2, y plus 2 equals slope x minus 2. This answer and this answer are both correct. Did you write both? You write one or the other. Okay. So here's the goofy thing. As I'm grading a test for quiz, some of you are going to have this answer. Some of you are going to have this answer. Who's right? Both of you are right. I don't want you to work that hard. So there's two answers if you write it in point slope. Now I will tell you this. If you go and you solve both of those for y, you got y all by itself, you get the exact same answer. Okay, but again, I don't like big corporations. I don't like big corporations telling me what I do. Sid, you still got something in your left ear. There he goes. So I'm kind of a rebel without a cause. Friends, do you have, did you have time to write that down? Yeah. Which answer do you think I want? Either one that works best for you. There's not one that's more correct than the other. And you guys would answer this on when it asks, because if you look back at the question, it says for each graph, write the equation on the line in point slope form. So when you're taking the test, you really have to read the directions because it's asking is for it's asking for point slope form. Mm -hmm. So you would write it in this form, whereas your other questions are going to ask you to like write the equation in a specific way, and we don't want to see this on something else, if that makes sense. Right. So you have to be very careful how you read the question. And we will put it up on the board. I will have slope intercept, standard form, point slope form, and examples of all. So it will be up on that board. And your question will ask, please write this in standard form. Please write this in point slope form. So there's a lot of things you have to really look at your directions for. All right. Problem number six. I am on page 124. Are you still with me on this? All right. So we have this equation. This is written in point slope form. 
Friends, just looking at this, what is the slope? Uh, One half? Yes. Yeah. All right. I want to get the point that I'm going to draw now. Okay? Real close. What is the opposite of negative four? What is the opposite of negative two? That's my point. You you flip flop them. You change you change you change it if they're positive, make it negative. So I'm going to plot the point four two. Do you agree with that? Uh, right four because that's in the x direction. And that's in the y direction. Slope is one over two, so I'm going to go down one, right two. There it is. I could. I could. But in the world of geometry, so next year's math, you'll find out that you only need two different points to define any one line. Okay? And we have two points defined. All right. We have enough time for one more problem. Can I move off this screen? Yeah. I don't know what. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, number nine. And the reason I'm choosing to do number nine is take a look at how this is set up. It is indeed in point slope form. What number is with y? Zero. Zero. Good. So I could rewrite this problem to be this. Okay? So, friends, what's my slope? 3 over 2. What is my point? Positive 1, comma? 0. Nailed it. Good job. Give me some knocks. All right. So, take a look at this problem that we have up here. It was originally y equals. Okay? But it's not in slope-intercept form because you had the parentheses. And I'm not going to distribute three halves over parentheses. That's just craziness. But I find the point 1, 0 is right here. Oh, you know, if you took stir up to the store, I'd get lost. 1, 0 is right there. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm going to go up 3 over 2. It is. It's in my office. My dad keeps calling because he can't figure out what he's supposed to do. I'm like, go to U.S. Bank with the check that they gave you for the camper and the pickup truck that you sold. Give them the check. That will pay for what you owed on the camper. Then get a receipt that says you owe zero on your camper that you've been financing for the past 30 years. What do you mean? I could make it any more clear. Just you wait, kids. One day you'll have to do it. You guys are going to take care of me. All right. So, my friends, it is Halloween, so I want to give you all the opportunity to get a good start on stuff. So, page 123, 124, I would like us to do number five, number seven, and number eight. 123, 124. You guys have legitimately 20 minutes. So if you waste this time, 